well-known storyteller. Hello. I know, talking to the black thing, right? Well, the little black thing is the is the recording. Yeah, right. On there. It's from another planet. <laughs> okay, so Nora sent out the email, and, you know, it's about meals, and meals are about F-O-O-D. And I don't know about you guys, but I didn't get past that. Because asking a compulsive eater to contemplate food is like asking a pederast to become a summer camp counselor. <laughs> It is a frickin' landmine. Now, I come from an ethnic home where food equaled nurture. And on top of that, my mother worshipped at the galley of ladies' magazines. And so the number one commandment in our house was, thou shalt look good, which translated into our lives being exactly like the pages of those publications. Recipe, diet. Recipe, diet. Recipe, diet. In my home, it actually looked like this. Oh, here, honey, I made your favorite, your favorite meatloaf. You know, you're putting a little on your thighs. You really should watch it. Here, honey, have some more mashed potatoes. You know, it's starting to show in your face. Aren't you worried? Oh, have second. So is it any wonder I eat all the time? Now, I've met people who actually don't think about food every minute of the day, and I think they come from a different species or a different DNA pool. Um, you know, you're with them, and somewhere around 4 in the afternoon, they'll go, Oh, I'm dizzy. Oh, gosh, I forgot to eat. I mean, the only other thing that's consistently pleasurable is orgasms, and you cannot have those publicly with any social acceptability. So how can you forget to eat? It's the only consistently pleasurable thing there is. Now, as someone who eats, of course, I've looked at the other side of that equation that my mother taught me, and that is... Good listening. Okay, so I've tried every diet there is. You know, there's the 10 glasses of water a day where you need to be permanently catheterized. There's the diet pill diet through which I made my first fortune selling amphetamines in middle school. It's not really sustainable. There's Scarsdale, too many homicides. More recently, my husband and I have tried Weight Watchers. If you do not mind farting for three to four weeks straight from all the fiber input, it is an intelligent way to eat. And when you go to the meetings, the, me the meeting leaders are very perky. Oh, Everybody's here now. Thanksgiving's coming up, and I know you're going to be tempted, but remember, it's all about portion control. Now, I've got a great recipe here for a cake, moist, delicious, and just four points a slice. <laughs> she doesn't get it. A slice is not my problem. <laughs> when triggered, and you could be triggered by anything, you know, fear, anxiety, hate, love, the new color pattern of your friend's living room, I mean anything, I get the whole cake or the whole watermelon, or the whole gallon of ice cream, or the whole chocolate torte meant for 12 people. And in a movement that was learned pre-verbally, and in a few minutes, and I assume that, you know, this is the same feeling that alcoholics and, and uh, heroin users get. The whole world starts to fade away, and I'm getting nurtured. And it just goes in and in and in. And by the time whatever is in front of me is gone, all physical and emotional barometers are. And you go rampaging through your kitchen and anything that is not locked down, locked out, shut out. You, the next morning, my husband notices that I'm not sleeping next to him in these situations. And he comes down the stairs really carefully. And he can hear the, the roaches scuttering away from the, the crumbs they were fighting me for. And there I am in a heap, chocolate smudged on my face, grease spots all over the clothes, the picked chicken bones on one side, the bed of wrappers underneath me, crumbs from cookies, crackers, things that were frozen. They thought they'd get away from me because they were frozen. <laughs> The acrid smell of old dairy product from empty ice cream containers. He takes one look, goes over to the refrigerator, sees the number for the hazardous waste cleanup unit that we always keep, calls them, cleans off a cheek on my face, kisses me and says, see you when I get home, honey. And later that day when I get my body back, I think, I've internalized my mother's war in spades. I've added exercise. So it's recipe, diet, exercise, recipe, diet, exercise, recipe, diet. Ex and I'm getting old. And I know that my body cannot take my mother's war much longer. And so I hope 
that I will be able to use food in response to hunger and exercise and diet for health and for nurture. For nurture, I'm going to try to open my heart and hear other people's stories in my life. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> maybe. Let the stories about food begin.